I'm with Sumitra Dutta, Rolenberger Professor of Business Technology at INSEAD and the co-author of the Global Information Technology Report 2009. Sumitra, how's the data collected? Well, the data collection is quite an effort. As you know, we cover 134 countries in the report. And so we have to make an effort to reach out to CEOs in all these countries. So we use a combination of qualitative data coming from the World Economic Forum's Executive Opinion Survey, which is polling CEOs in various countries that we include in the report. We also use data which is more quantitative coming from the various international organizations of the World Bank. And I see that Scandinavia is once again at the top of the rankings. How can you uh, define that? Well, Scandinavia seems to be doing very well for the last several years. And clearly, Scandinavian countries benefit from, besides small size, I think they benefit from a very strong education base. They benefit from a very strong leadership from the government in terms of leading efforts in science and technology. They also have a very uh, committed record to innovation in specific areas of technology sectors. The USA rising one place to number three, that might be a surprise at this time of crisis. Well, the US has always done very well. You know, it's one of the biggest countries, large countries, it's always in the top ten. And certainly the US has tremendous strengths in terms of being able to attract foreign talent. It's got a great VC industry, it's great track record in starting technology companies. And while the US certainly has some challenges right now in the financial services uh, sector, on the whole, technology has got a very strong position. And China leading the BRIC countries for the first time? Yes, China has been uh, investing very heavily in technology over the last several years, and you're seeing the results of the investment coming up right now. So my own expectation is that China will continue to rise in the ranking in the next few years. And India dipping just a little bit, four places? Yeah, it's a small shift for India, but I think India has to think carefully about uh, some of the local developments that has caused the small uh, drop in rankings. And certainly India hasn't been as aggressive on some of its reforms in the country, uh, which is very important for business and technology sector to prosper over the last few years as it could have been. And this is the eighth year of the report. Are there any golden rules for, competing, for keeping the competitive edge for countries? This has been a very successful collaboration between INSEAD and the Forum in which we have done this report for so many years and today has become like the benchmark report on technology and competitiveness. And having the benefit of these eight years of data, today we can analyze the data and come up with some very good conclusions about the impact of technology and competitiveness and development. And today we do know that technology has a positive impact on competitiveness. As countries invest more in technology, they become more competitive generally. But at the same time, technology alone is not enough. So you need to invest in skills. It's a very important component. You have, need to have a good supportive business environment. It's also very important. And you need to make sure that the country has the right leadership to be able to continue to invest in technology and to view technology as strategic enabler of development.